3D. I'm a 3D forensic analyst, which means that I use 3D technologies to document, analyze, and visualize crime scenes and accident scenes. Today, uh, it's a pretty simple uh, task of taking a number of photographs, and it's just a matter of knowing how to take the photographs and which photographs are going to work best for you. So that's an important part of the process. Equipment-wise, um, you know, everybody has a digital camera. Um, you know, one of the first things to, uh, you know, to be at a crime scene if you're a first responder is you're probably going to have a mobile phone, which means you got a camera, and so that's always available. It's great if there's rapidly deteriorating evidence. So if it's raining or it's snowing and things are getting covered up really fast you can click some photos very quickly and preserve that data. And that's sort of the important part or the piece of this whole thing is that you don't need the software immediately to do the documentation. You can freeze the crime scene by taking photos. And of course, if you have a, a good camera, a uh, better sensor and everything, then you're gonna get the best possible 3D models uh, that you can.